what's it like being cast into a Guy Ritchie series? I mean, it's pretty wild, man. You know, um, I've been, been saying to a few people, you know, like I, re I grew up with a Lockstock poster on my wall when I was like 13 years old. I can really vividly remember my, my dad coming home, having seen it at the cinema and being like, you've got to go and see this movie. They're like dealing cards and the, the cards fly towards the camera and freeze frame. And it was just this like, I remember seeing it, it was like nothing I'd ever seen before. I was a big movie buff, you know, I was watching stuff all the time. And then Snatch, I was able to see in the cinemas. And that was one of those ones where like, do you remember they used to release the album for the movie, the CD? So I'd get that and play like bits of like Vinny kind of doing dialogue over it. And so then coming in, jumping into it, working with Vinny, working with Guy, kind of being part of something that is in my uh, film lover DNA was, was, it was wild, man. And Guy manages to create an environment where the characters and the story can be quite way out there across quite a wide spectrum, but at the same time they feel very authentic. Is that, does that come off the page to you when you read the script? I mean, he, you know, Guy, Guy works doggedly to continue to sort of change it and refine it for exactly that reason and talks a lot about trying to straddle that line. And, you know, for me, I was always trying to push it and push it and play for laughs and all that sort of stuff. And he's very clever about knowing when to let you do that, when to pull it in, when to push you in a much darker direction. Um, you know, and there were, there were moments where, where you know, there's like a scene in this first episode where I'm in a boxing ring in a, in a big fur coat, and he, which he didn't want me to wear. So we went and put on an even bigger fur coat and we were like, how about this one instead? <laughs> um, so I managed to sort of, there were moments where I managed to sneak in stuff that he was like. Um, but he, he's very, very considered with that. And that is kind of, I think, what he does so brilliantly is to get there, get in the room and be like, you know what? This feels wrong. It needs to be more... It needs to be funnier, it needs to be weirder, it needs to be more dramatic. So he just keeps playing with those dials and, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!